Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you know what today is, was? Well, well <laughs> we just passed the midnight mark, so it's technically not Saturday, but we're going to pretend it's Saturday. It's anyway. Saturday night, bitch! It's Saturday night, yeah, sure, sure. Um, but not only did we fail at getting this out technically on Saturday, mm -hmm. we also failed on our last episode where we said... <laughs> that we'd be back tomorrow with the new Isaiah chapter. Right, right. And it was not correct because it was Friday when we put that out. But we didn't and today's know. Sa well, cause... today's Sunday-ish, Saturday night type Anyway, thing. whatever. We're yeah. fucked up. We Sorry. fucked up. Yeah. We're, we're all kinds of fucked up. We just can't read a calendar. And I don't think we'll ever get it straight that the day we record is not the day that we, we record. Post. Right. <laughs> yeah. Except yeah, for when it is. It's hard, guys. It's hard. It's not. We just well, are stupid. We, yeah, there's that too. Um, so that means that today's Saturday, which means we're doing... Q&A Saturday. A little bit late. Not on Saturday. But mostly. Sort but of. mostly. Kind yeah. of. So uh, what are we queuing and a today? Well, uh, this past week we covered Isaiah chapters 58 through 62. Okay. And we are going to talk about the last couple chapters. Okay. Because those are the, the ones that, that had a lot of things to say. Because what the fuck. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. You ready to do this? I am. Let's do it. Okie dokie. All right. So here we are doing our Q&A over chapters 58 through 62 of Isaiah. Of which we only had some questions about the last couple of chapters, really. Right. So, so just to do a, a quick little recap, chapters 56 through 66 are often referred to as Trito Isaiah. Right. They're the final part of the book. So we're bringing it home. Yep. We're going to finish it up this coming week. Yeah. And... Chapters 60 through 62 are the three magnificent chapters, <laughs> and they are often seen as the high point of Trito Isaiah. Oh. So it goes downhill from here, I guess, I, question okay. mark? Okay. That's, that's sad. Yeah, I don't really... Yeah, the Bible's not real great at wrapping things up or making yeah. like stories out of things, so like I feel like it's going to be a... Bunch of stumbling to get out of the book. I feel like it'll be fine. It'll be <laughs> fine. So chapter 61 and 62 are about the good tidings of salvation to Zion. Okay. okay. That's basically what those two chapters cover. They're, um, 62 is a continuation of 61. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So um, we had questions about Zion's new names, like WTF, yes. Yes. what the hell, why, what? Right. So here's the thing. The new name for the restored city does not necessarily abandon the old one. Like, for example, note that Jacob was still known as Jacob, even though he was given the new name Israel. Sure. So the new name isn't... It's just an extra name? It's an extra name. Got it. Right. It rather signifies the imagery changes in verse 6 of the city now as the marriage partner of Yahweh, differentiated from its earlier, quote, desolate condition <laughs> while witnessed by foreign nations. Ah, okay. Ah. So, so the, the, you mean the time when God abandoned all of his people and let them be enslaved and taken for whatever? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, um, the names that he gives are Forsaken, um, or the names that they were originally were Forsaken and Desolate. Okay. Okay. Now, Forsaken is translated from the Hebrew word Azubah, which means desolation. And Desolate 
is translated from the Hebrew word shamama, shamama, which means waste. Okay. Okay. So yeah. we're talking about wastelands, desolate. Right. Bad whatever, shit. Bad earth. Yeah. And then so he renames them the the land, not the people, the land okay. to Hephzibah and Beulah. Right. And Hephzibah is literally my delight is in her. And Beulah in Hebrew means married to the land. Okay. So here is something off topic that you will find interesting. Beulah Park opened in Grove City, Ohio, which is a suburb of Columbus in 1923 and was Ohio's first thoroughbred racetrack and premier event center. Okay. Oh, Beulah Park, huh? Yeah. Um, at its close in 2014, it was one of only three tracks in Ohio to offer live thoroughbred racing. Beulah Park was bought by a developer with plans including single household condos, apartments, townhouse style condos, a 102 unit senior luxury independent living facility, a 75 unit assisted living building, office and retail space, and a 60-acre park or green space. Okay. I, I'm not trying to interrupt here, but, like, mm-hmm. what the fuck does this have to do with the Bible? Because it was called Beulah. Okay. Beulah Park. No, I, I get it. And other than Ohio, why do I care? Because it's Ohio. We had a Beulah. Because we live in Ohio. That's yeah. why we're covering this. this yes. I this, thought it was uh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Grove City Planning Commission gave the development plans a green light in 2017 uh-huh. and in 2021. The first residents began occupying the 220-acre development that was previously Beulah Park. Okay. It's not called that anymore. I'm sure our fans are riveted right now. I'm sure they are. Yeah. I, I thought it was interesting because <laughs> it was it was open for so long and then it closed and now it's just a... That happens to things, yeah. Just people live there. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, okay. Um, the Lord promises to protect Zion in verses 6 through 9 of Isaiah chapter 62. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, one of the words that he uses is watchman. And he says right. he's going to set up watchmen, right? Yeah. Which was interesting because we had talked about them before and he didn't like the old watchmen or whatever. Yeah, so these are new like, ones. The watchmen were blind. And I guess now these guys aren't. Now, something that I found interesting and you might also find interesting is have you heard of the novel Ghost Set a Watchman? No. You have. Okay. It is um, the one that was released by Harper Lee's um, people. Who, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. Um, and it, she didn't want it released or something yeah, like that? Yeah, there was a whole scandal. It was published in 2015. It was rewritten. It was written before her only other published novel, the Pulitzer Prize winning To Kill a Mockingbird. Right. Which was published in 1960. Ghost at a Watchman was initially promoted as a sequel by its publishers. It is now accepted that it was merely a first draft of To Kill a Mockingbird, with many passages in that book being used again. Got it. The title comes from the book of Isaiah in the Hebrew Bible. Interesting. It alludes to Jean Louise Finch Scouts. Yeah. Um, view of her father, Atticus Finch, as the moral compass. The Watchman Got it. of Maycomb, Alabama, and has a theme of disillusionment as she discovers the extent of the bigotry in her home community. Right. So I thought that was interesting because I always wonder, where the fuck did the name of that book come from? Sure. And also, just FYI, there's like a, a whole movement where people are like, we weren't supposed to read that, so don't. Right. And I am one of those people. Okay. I'm not reading it. I don't think you should read it. I probably won't. I yeah. know. But I'm just saying. Sure. So that was basically the answer to those questions plus two trivia points. <laughs> he named he gave them extra names. So what you're funsies. telling me is that there wasn't a whole hell of a lot to talk about this week. That is correct. Okay. That is correct. Because you you were like throwing shit in there just to like fill space, I feel. I put interesting things in there, <laughs> and if there had been no room for it, I would have skipped over it. Okay. But there was room for there it. There was so definitely, yeah. I kept it. Okay. All right. Fair enough. 
But yeah, um, he gave the name because he's like, I love this land now today. Got it. All right. And, and, you know, just like he did with Jacob, he did with the land. Okay. I did find it interesting that it was what he called the land, not the people. Sure. Yeah, which, that, that is, that. there's something there. Yeah. I'm not sure what. Right. But something. Right. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. So is that, that's all we got then, right? That's all we got then. All right. I'm sorry. There wasn't a lot there, well, but I did a, answer your question. It's a short Q. Yeah, you answered my question. Mm-hmm. It was a short Q&A. So that is our Q&A today for this Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, we will be back uh, maybe, probably, hopefully tomorrow. Sunday. With a Patreon episode, I believe we're going to do. That we're going to Because we've had a lot of do... like really screwy shit going on lately. Yeah. So. so we're going to try to do a Patreon. Also, if you are about tomorrow mm-hmm. um, or, or today when you're when you're listening to this, which will be Sunday... Mm-hmm. Um, at 3 p.m. Eastern, we will be live on Discord. So if we you will. haven't joined us yet on the Discord channel, mm-hmm. you should hop over there right now. You should. Sign up and then join us for the live show you really that happens should. at 3 p.m. Get over there, assholes. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll be covering Isaiah chapter 63. Yes, on, on the live Discord. On the episode. live Discord yes. at Correct. 3 Central. Yeah. Eastern. No, what the hell are you? T- I have no idea. I'm, I don't uh, know why I said that. Eastern. I'm going to fire a firing wife. Don't fire me. <laughs> don't fire me. Talking because... about land development projects and fucking. Okay, listen. Quoting the wrong goddamn time frame. Okay, listen. If you fired me, then all of your mistakes would be that much more glaring. That's true. That's true. Right now, I am your scapegoat. I'm not. I can't. <laughs> I can't fire you. I know. Like, there's no, that's not going to happen. I know. So, anyway, thank you guys for joining us, and we will see you again soon. Yep. Bye. Bye. Hey, wife, I guess that's the end. But, husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh, my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Oh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.